Hey guys, Rick with FHF Gear. Going to talk to you today about how to install our general purpose pouch onto the bino harness, onto the bottom, and as well as the side. Um, first off, you have two different methods you can buy the general purpose pouch. You can buy it just as it is with using the standard attachment method, which works on our bino harnesses with the laser cut molly panel on the bottom. If you have an older style FHF bino harness with this, the molly webbing, you're going to have to buy option two, which comes with the Molly attachment strap to attach that on. We'll start by showing you how to attach the standard attachment method onto the newer style bino harness with the laser cut Molly panel. So you're going to open up these one wrap Velcro arms and you're going to take them and you're going to start feeding them down through the slots on the front of the laser cut panel. Flip your bino harness over and you'll continue to feed those up through and they'll pop out the back. Then you want to take the side of the general purpose pouch and push it flush up against the bottom of the bino harness. Open up the other arm of one wrap velcro and you can secure that velcro down. Then take the other arm and secure it onto the back of that arm and what that does is lock that one wrap on there. It's not going to come open and it creates a very secure uh, fit on the bottom of the bino harness. Now using the second option on the older style bino harness with the molly attachment strap, you're going to take the uh, end of the strap with the two rectangular openings and you're going to slide that under all the webbing on the top of the general purpose pouch. Once you get that through, you're going to want the end to be just sticking out beyond the end of the webbing. You're going to take the other tag end and you're going to start weaving it through that webbing. So you're going to go up, uh, under the first piece of webbing on the bino harness and then down through under the one wrap Velcro and you're going to repeat all the way through making a weave. Okay, and then at the end, you're going to start going through. You're going to go through the first rectangular cut, and then you're going to take the end and go through the second one, and you'll lock them all together like that. And I have an example I'll show you here in a second. So you'll lock them together, and you're, it's going to look like that. So your end your, uh, of your molly attachment strap is going to go through the first rectangle, slot and then through the second and it's going to lock on there nice and tight and that gives you a nice secure fit on the older style FHF bino harnesses. So our other attachment is you could take the general purpose pouch and put it on the side of the bino harness and that will work with the new model and the old. I'll show you how to do that here. We're going to take this off and you're going to go to the side of your bino harness and you'll notice there's two slots around this uh, elastic here. So you can also mount, note that the zipper can go forward or off to the side of the bino harness. We'll mount it off to the side on this example. So you're going to take those one wrap Velcro arms. And you're going to go down in through the side. Then you'll turn the harness around and put the other side of the arms through the back. and you are then going to secure them to each other inside the actual harness. So those ends are going to go in and overlap just like that and it's going to create a really nice snug fit and attachment onto the side of your FHF bino harness. So um, that's how to attach the general purpose pouch. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, comment below, call or email in and we'll get you taken care of. Thanks for watching.